though. Last night saw the beginning of this week's Britain Got, Britain's Got Talent semi-finals and dancer Tobias Mead made it through to the final. You know I Tobias, do don't know you? know Tobias. Tobias was um, one of the dancers on our tour and um, he was the real fun... I mean, they were all great, but he was the real cheeky one and mm. naughty one, kept getting told off. And he's such a lovely guy and he's had a hard time of it growing up because his parents and his brothers didn't want him to be a dancer right. and all of that. And um, so to see him... Oh, and on the opening night of our tour, we rehearsed for six weeks. He was brilliant. He used to do this backflip on stage. He did it on the opening night, the, sh the opening night show, and broke his heel. Oh. Oh. oh, no. So he missed the whole tour and he cried his eyes out and all that. It was so sad. And then, so to see him on this... Mind you, he owes me a fortune from last night. I was on that phone every... <laughs> oh, I kept pressing redial, redial. So at the moment, he owes me about £25,000. <laughs> but, um, oh, he's just... It's so great to see someone so talented and so nice doing so well, and, and it means such a lot to him. Yeah. So I was absolutely thrilled to see him on there. He's brilliant. Well, he wasn't the only star of last night's show. Uh, Jane, you got a little name check as well. <laughs> if, if, <laughs> yes. I don't know if, did you actually see it last night? Yes, I did. I was. I spit my tea out again. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, any, if any of you are watching at home and you missed it, have a little look at this. I love it when I hear her singing, especially when I see her on loose women. The day is never cloudy and rainy. When I think of my cruise ship baby, we can have a baby called Ronald, cos I'm in love with Jay McDonald. Is it, is it, in it, in it, in it, up? I don't care for tea, love. I'm so flattered and he's sweet. I love his fake tan he's as well, cos he's got a tide mark all the way down. <laughs> he's, he's very funny and I think it's great cos he's... I mean, it's camp, isn't it? That's, yeah. that's what he's all about. Mm. And I love it because he does it to wind Simon Cowell up, I'm sure. It's just a wind-up for Simon Cowell, so I'm glad do he's you know got what, that though, Jen, I actually don't think he does it as a wind-up. I mean, I do think that's his act on a cruise ship, probably. I, don't I think mean, it I think is. he's over the top, you know, yeah. he knows he's over the top. The only yeah. thing for me with him, and, he, and it was great, to see all of that and he is entertaining he kind of because simon has got that impression of, of cruise ship entertainers mm. that's his impression of them mm. and i think he's just added to that he's everything that simon thinks cruise is ship entertainers real, are is he a real cruise and ship entertainer then or is he I just taking the, the ferry, michael he does yeah. the ferry <laughs> 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 oh, there you go. Well, that's that's my only thing i yeah. think because there's great thank entertainers you for standing up. thank you yeah. for standing up for cruise ship there singers is. that's very good of great you coming in, okay very good. Uh, back to business a study of 3000 couples has revealed that a lack of sex, spontaneity and romance makes it harder to maintain a loving relationship. More than 50% of those questions said their partner was no longer the affectionate and giving person that they were at the start, with a third admitting that acts of spontaneity are all but dead and gone. 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 No. Not, not me, <laughs> just thought it was funny. Um, so does that sound familiar? Do you think spons spontaneity? Do you think it is... <laughs> do you think it's sustainable? In a well, long-term relationship? Well, you see, it's still Can't quite... Can't even say it, then, my dear. Oh, bless you, bless you. You'll get the teeth fixed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, you see, it's still quite new for Ed and I. We're still on that, you know, rosy glow, uh, which is nice, and it's still just two years, so we're still finding out a lot about each other. And I, I feel a bit sorry for Ed, because I literally has to make an appointment just to... Be spontaneous, really. <laughs> and, uh, it's not is he, very, he is very spontaneous, and he's, he's very. He's got a wild imagination, as my. Who was it? Tell us more. <laughs> oh no, I don't think I can. Really. <laughs> this is a daytime show. But anyway, I was potting my plants the other day, uh, you know, because I've got domestic now. Still don't cook, but I was potting my plants. I had my marigolds on with my compost. And um, he was there potting with me. Is that me. what it's become? I know. Potting plants I at love the weekend. It. <laughs> I love it. And, of course, he sheds outside, so I do visit him now and again. Was that a spontaneous <laughs> bit of potting? Yes. Yeah. It was spontaneous potting. We'd been to the garden centre with my mother and she told me what to get and things like that. <laughs> and it was really good fun. I know it sounds like... And he sort of, sort of started talking to me like he was the gardener. <laughs> and I thought, oh, really? I thought, where's this going? <laughs> when did I, it did. It, it, did. it went did all it? the way there. Yes, it did. It was really good. Just, oh, I, do you know it was yeah. fantastic? And I thought it's a good job. He's so spontaneous. And, and he's romantic, isn't he? He's very romantic. He leaves me little notes and gets up every morning. I mean, I, I get up quite early for this show sometimes, like you do, mm. clean. It's four thirty. Mm. That way, and he always gets up and makes me a cup of tea. 
wow. and brings it. It's, it's oh. just so lovely. Leaves him oh. I know, it's, it's great, isn't it? I'm very lucky. I don't what? know what he's doing with me. I don't know. <laughs> because we're only two years as well, and it still, you know, it still feels like we just met, mm, actually. So nice. it's quite nice, and he is quite spontaneous. I'm trying to think if I am. <laughs> Yes, I am. Are you? Are you? Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not as much as him, but you know, I hope it does go on. But I do. I, what, it is what true. What are talking about? Hope the spontaneity. It goes on. Oh, right. You know, in the, in the relationship, and it is still quite. You know, it is quite romantic. Still very touchy feely, and you know, it it doesn't feel like two years at all. Mm. But you know, I do understand that. It gets more difficult the longer it goes on. It just it gets harder. Don't, I, don't, I mean, the, you know, being. <laughs> I mean, being the point, it actually is, doesn't. I mean, being spontaneous. The longer it goes on, the harder it gets. Yeah. Well, you just you get used to each it other, don't you? Yes. <laughs> Should we just carry on? We'll just, just carry the two on, of us. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you know what I mean. How long have you been with with Ray now? Ten, um, years. ten years in July. We've Ooh, been together. Ten years, you see. Ten years. Yes. Ooh. And I have to How say, now, this is my problem, girls. How okay. long have you got? Mm. Um, <laughs> I am really, really romantic. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm ridiculously, sickeningly romantic. And I love that. I love little notes. I love the fact he gets up and makes you a cup of tea. Mm. You know, you and Mark, you have your weekends away sometimes, yeah. don't you? Um, and I would do all of that. Right. If I could find someone to do it with. <laughs> no, I'm only messing. I absolutely, you know, I love him so much and I adore him, but he's not romantic. Right. And he doesn't get it. So he just thinks I'm being this kind of emotional dragon, like, mm. what do you mean? And I'm going, well, if you don't know what I mean, it doesn't matter. Mm. You know? Because <laughs> it's been one of that them. For years, though, and I have been saying it for years. And I think the problem is, ten years down the line, you do kind of get, well, we're going to be together forever. You know, shouldn't though, but shouldn't I granted. don't you know mm. I still miss him every time I'm away from him and I will text him and tell him that mm. and I still will leave little notes you know or yeah. I'll go to him oh you know this weekend should we go out to like just for a meal for the two of us and he'll go what for <laughs> and then you just kind of go oh, it doesn't matter we've got sausages that have got you know. their use by date so today. I do think that um, <laughs> That's what we get. as much as we as, and I know he loves me and I know he yeah. dies me but he he needs to make more of an effort on that front because it's right. really getting to me <laughs> Darling, <laughs> I'm going to live with Ed. <laughs> and as for getting up at R4, forget yeah, it. Forget we haven't it. been to bed before then, anyway. Ooh. OK, it's time for us to take...